Hello everyone, <clears throat> Taylor here. Um, I am very late in watching this match. Um, <clears throat> it was posted yesterday, I think, um, and I've just had so much going on. I legitimately have not had any time to try and watch this. But it is the Andrako v. Cushing match. Um, this is really going to be a tough one, I think. I think it's really going to be a close one. Um, but for this one, I have Rachel going forward <clears throat> just because I'd really like to see her advance. Um, she really has a lot of potential in this league, I think. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do this. I'm ready to go. It's been a long week already, and it's like, what, Wednesday? I apologize in advance, guys. I'm going to be eating during this. It's been a long day. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Looking good, Rachel. You got this, girl. Yes! Oh my gosh. We had a great couple matches so far. And another one here today, Ken Asuk. I'm happy to be here. It's, uh, you know, some people say there's way too much Ken Asuk here. I think it's just enough because I'm glad to be here. There's for never enough Ken competition yeah, we, in this time. Come on. Absolutely. Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, matches so far. I mean, and. You got the Lions then once again. Jeff Snyder coming off a big win against Mighty Matt Nost. A lot closer than people thought it was going to be. And how about the most recent match here with Bibiani uh, getting knocked out there. No, not knocked out, but losing to Sam Levine. Upsets here so far have been going down. And we see Andrako versus Cushing. This is one that, you know, Andrako is the higher ranked competitor at 2-1. and one. Rachel Cushing right now is a clear favorite for Rookie of the Year. You know Rachel pretty well. I know her very well. My partner in the Nerds oh. Watch. Uh, I love the Nerds Watch so much. To a lot of people out there. I still really support it. I'll be a, a non-biased uh, announcer here, of right. course. But I, I've seen her skill up close, close. I know what she can do. I know what she knows. It's all about finding that calm. Finding nerds that Watch is such a great team. The big lights. Well, after the Nerds Watch, and you had made that announcement kind of that you you still haven't really given us the answers as far as what you were doing, but we knew that Rachel was going into, she's going to wait for that inner geek to match, it's going to come up, but she wanted to kind of be on her own and see what she can do. She got Jay Washington, who's been pursuing her, trying to get a part of the Misfits, she's got to make your uh, decision. She's got a lot in her mind, so the question is, how much of that is going to play into this? Because Andrako, cool, calm, and collected right now, he played great in the team tournament, he was really solid. Some would say that maybe Burnett had the rough matches because Andrako played great. Andrako is the android for a reason. You said calm, cool, collective. I've, I've seen this guy fighting. I've seen this guy answering trivia questions no matter what he does. I've seen him conversations around the break room table. He remains calm, collected, but always with passion behind it. So uh, I'm very interested. This matchup, I, I had to flip a coin. Well, I'm interested to see what these two competitors had to say about one another, and we're going to find out right now. I don't know why Rachel Cushing is even playing. Freaking Dagnino. Diversity? Uh, yeah, maybe. Wow. I mean, look, all she knows wow. is like, how to train your dragon questions. She should try to like be better at trivia. That's wow, I really hope Rachel. So really hope Rachel anything kicks anything their ass the now. Over the last nine months, it's that anything can happen in the showdown, and suddenly I find myself as a ranked contender in the singles tournament. I am so excited, a little nervous, but. This is a proving ground for me. Ken has been my partner in the Nerds Watch. He's been behind me this whole way. I know he's still behind me, but I'm on my own today. I'm standing on my own two feet. Inner geekdom's my thing, but this is a broader thing. This is where I prove myself. I've seen this um, Rachel cr crush, Crusher, Cushing, Cushing, Rachel Cushing. I've seen her compete once. That's all I know about her. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about her. I, you know, she's blonde. She seems, she's pretty. I hear she's smart. So what was it about flying match? dragons? And she knows about dragons. That's about it. I'm not gonna well, lie. Well, at least they said she's pretty in this league. Like I will not underestimate him. But still schmucks. Though. He plays for that, you know, faction that will not be named. 
and I'm not going to have anything to do with them, and I'm going to do my best to take them down. And if that means taking Andrejko down, the android, the guy with no heart, you die. Heck well, yeah, Cushion, Rachel, come on. The time has come, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to destroy you. But because my mom raised me right, I'm going to do it the gentlest, most gracious way possible. But you're going down. Sorry. Mark? I do admire you as a player. I don't admire you for being in that team and that faction, so I'm going to take you down. Question by question, round by round, I'm going to do this my way, I'm going to work my ass off, and I'm going to beat you. Rachel, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Round trivia and more regular trivia. And bottom line, you're a loser. Dang. And Draco's starting to make a little bit of a spin there and, and saying, pretending like he didn't know who Rachel Cushing was, and then Dagnino saying all she knows is about dragons, and you know, then you have Rachel who's saying that it was nice to the fact that she had been with you, but it's time for her to be on her own, and she doesn't like the fact that Draco's running around with the lions, then she clearly has a disdain for that faction. Um, there's a little bit of that, uh, that blood starting to boil here of both. A competition brings out this kind of stuff. You put a sword in a person's hand and a beast awakens. You know yeah. what I mean? That has to do with Dragon's Tom. All right, why don't you give me the tale of the tape? All right, with Mark the Android <coughs> Draco. He has a lot of strengths. Comic book movies is definitely one of his strengths. He is in that industry. He knows it very well. 2000s also. He's a, he's a big fan of Henry Cavill documentaries, if uh, we have any questions about that. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. And Rachel Cushing, fantasy, sci-fi, Oscars, directors. There's a lot of things she knows. That, I can tell you. All right, well, I'm ready to get going. How about you? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmoda. Three rounds in the ultimate oh, man. I'm so singles excited. division. Introducing first. Representing the Nerds Watch. Heck yeah, girl. Of one win, no defeats. She is Rachel the Crusher. Who's Dang, looking good. Looking good. That was her music when she came out against Nick Scarpino. One, and then she got pictures of. She's crunching and crushing oh, yeah. Android. Yeah, Android. Android. She's crushing Android. Android. Dang, girl. Get, Get it. it. Yeah, they're yeah, crushing good, it. Good. And that is a... Look at that. And then I, I see she's got her hand. The last Android. Oh! oh girl! This is amazing. Crush Android. I love this. There you go. And, we'll look and she did it. A whole bunch of androids and showing that Mark Andrego will be the last android that she crushes today. Yeah. All right, and her opponent representing the Lion's Den, Sweeney Todd, with a record really? of two All right. one defeat. Mark the Android. Oh, and gross. Gross. Not here right now, but I'll jump. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, he throws you off sometimes. You know, I know it is hard. He's a gentleman. Snyder, I'm not so sure of. Snyder's <laughs> <laughs> all about him. He's showing up his belt. Snyder's all about his belt. Look at him. Well, the lion's sweet in. belt, loser. Yeah. Your sweet face. What's your record, you rotten animal? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Worthless. Wow. I love Worthless. it. It's, I love it's it. It's not raining here. You're not in a desert, you pus. All right. <laughs> So Lawrence is of suburbia right here. <laughs> he can really get you going. He, he, he can. All right. Uh, he's a moron. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it's time for the first round here between Mark, the Android, and Draco, and Rachel, the Crusher, Cushing. First round, going to work like this. Eight questions in round one, or <clears> one point of each 15 seconds to answer the question. The competitors will write their answers on the whiteboard, show it to the camera, and say it at the same time when it is their turn. Don't forget about the JTE rule. Do not forget about the challenge rule. If you need those to be explained, ask us. We will explain them to you. But if not, Mark, the Android, and Draco, are you ready? Yes, sir. Rachel the Crusher, Cushing, are you ready? Let's go, kittens. Oh, then let's get ready to schmoda! Oh, man. I'm so freaking excited. All right. Here we go. Starting off here, category one is animated. Animated. What was the name of the piggy bank in the Toy Story films? You know oh. 
Oh, oh yeah, well, no, I still have a touch. I've never seen a piggy bank, so I don't have a lot of money. I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm not doing well. I don't five. remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to get a job at Green. Five, five, four. I don't three, remember. Two, one, Damn. pens down, and Mark. It's wrong. Wilbur? That's incorrect. Rachel? Forky. Looking for ham. Yeah. ham. That's right. Damn. All right, so no one scores right. the top. All right, <coughs> All right. Question two, cat. Question two, category is comedies. Who plays the mother that wants to adopt Juno's baby in the film? God, I Juno. only saw that movie once. Do Juno? Oh. Juno. Ah! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> who's waiting for that? What? I, I thought it was I, good. I think Copter. Copter's an angry woman. He's actually pretty happy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Five. I don't Five. think. Four. Three. This is Five. right. Two. One. Pens down, please. Back to Mark and Draco. Jennifer Garner? That's correct. Rachel. What? Jennifer Garner. Oh, Where did I one. pull that from? One, one. Dang. All right. Uh, next question here. Category of dramas. Who directed the 1984 sports drama The Natural? Who directed? Say I'm a natural at eating soft tacos. <laughs> I would say 7-Eleven for it. That's true, too. <laughs> and the laughs. <laughs> Five. That's that. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Rachel. Barry That's correct. Right. Mark. Oh, Robert Redford. Wow. Dang. Oh, nice yeah. pull there by Rachel Cushing. Two, yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Right. Let's go, Rachel. Now, right. Question four category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. What is the name of Woody Harrelson's character in the horror oh. movie Zombieland? <sighs> Rachel Cushing hitting that board quick. Uh, I don't, don't remember. Where is my mind today? Zombieland. Yeah. Five. I don't remember. Three, two, one. Hands down, please. And goes back to Mark and Draco. Alabama. Incorrect. All right, Rachel. Tallahassee. That's correct. Nice. There you go. Next question here. Category of famous actors and actresses. Who was the lead actress in the rom-com oh. 27 Dresses? I love that movie. Can't stand her. Yeah. What? What? Ask your question. I don't, I don't think this is spelled yeah. right, but... <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Rachel. Catherine Heigl. Correct. Mark and Draco. Catherine Heigl. There you All go. Right. All right, guys. Four to the score. Four to the score. Question six. Category is action adventure. Action adventure in the Boondock Saints. Who plays FBI agent Paul Smecker, who was assigned to the murders linked to the McManus brothers? I'm sorry, guys. Smucker's jelly. Yeah, yeah. He is. He is sick, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Mark and Draco. That is correct, Rachel. Willem Dafoe. Nice. Draco's fighting back. Five, three. Five, three. The crowd's starting to come in here, starting to wake up. All right, here we go. Next category fantasy sci fi. In Terminator Salvation. Who played Marcus Wright, a human slash Terminator hybrid? I have no stunner. idea. Who was that dastardly dude? Yeah. So I was one in the theaters. Did you? I yeah. never and saw this did, movie. Well, you know, I, I don't go out much. And, yeah, and that yeah. was one he had to pay money for. It was, it was, it was a regret. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens to Mark. It's wrong. That's wrong. That's incorrect. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Rachel's killing it though. Three point lead for Rachel Cushing starting to take a nice little lead on the Android as we get into the final question. Yeah, to be fair, Worthington and, and Courtney made in the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right, final question. Oscar movies. Oscar movies. Sissy Spacek received her only Academy Award win for Best Actress in what film? I have no freaking idea. I'm gonna end this round with two points, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Which Four, I suppose isn't the worst. Three, two, one, pens down, please. And Mark Andrew. Coal Miner's Daughter? That's, That's correct. correct. Nice. Rachel. Coal Miner's Daughter. There you go. Nice. Oh, wow, Rachel pushing seven of eight. <laughs> I'm really stoked about this weed Rachel has going on. A spectacular game I hope the wheel is nice to her. <laughs> into round number two. Works like come this. On. The wheel's going to come out, and the competitors are going to spin the wheel. If it lands on a category that they don't like the first time around, they can spin again. Unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice, then they have to take whatever their opponent chooses for them. Two points apiece. Unless you go to multiple choice, then it is worth one point. You can steal from your opponent in this round.
So God. round number two, Rachel, you are up by three. Would you like to go first or second? First. There you go. Rachel. Yeah, there you, you go, go, girl. That's Get a, it. That's a nerd watch strategy, All right, too. Yeah. 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 Come on, Rachel. Come on. Spin his head, spin his head, and uh -oh. it uh -oh. is oh. Animated. so close. Animated. <coughs> Rachel, do you want to stick with animated, or do you want to spin again? Ooh. I hate Browse. this. Browse yelling at half a cross <coughs> on, or yeah. keep it half a cross on. We're going to give you an answer. And if, we, if you don't give us an answer in five, you're going to have to take it. I'm going to spin again. Spin again. Oh. Uh, risky. Oh. Risky move here risky. by Rachel. Oh. Oh. I'm so yeah. nervous. Oh, it's come on, Rachel. Watch, but we've spun again, and it's worked out, Christian. So oh. let's Get see what we have going okay. here. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. All right. A lot of garbage. All right. Sandra Bullock. Here you go. Four questions in Sandra Bullock. Come on, okay. Rachel. All right, Rachel, question one. In what <coughs> film does Sandra Bullock romance Chris O'Donnell during World War One? Come on, Rachel. Five, four. Come on, two, Rachel. Two. Multiple one. choice. Is it A, in love and war? B, wrestling Ernest Hemingway? C, in good company? D, all quiet on the Western Front? In love and war. For one point. Nice. That's another uh, right. In what film does Bullock play a homicide detective hunting down Ryan Gosling and Michael Pitt? Oh. Uh. God, what is it called? Five. Four. Three, I can't remember what it's called. Two. Multiple choice. A. A time to kill. B. Murder by numbers. C. <coughs> gun guy. D. Two if by C. Murder by numbers. For one point. Nice. Right. There we go. Comedian and friend of the show, Adam Ray, plays the bad guy in what buddy cop movie starring Sandra Bullock? The Heat? That's correct. Nice. Rachel Cushing. Is that for right. Last one. Last one. Last question. Who plays Sandra Bullock's father in The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood? Five, four. James Garner? Two points! Nice! Nice! Oh, 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 oh. The crowd goes nuts! Those were all a big good pull! Good. A big pull! Nice, that two, was two awesome. Pointers, two one pointers, that was a great round for the Crusher. And Drake needs to have a big round here, right. round two, to catch up. And time to spin. There's the spin. Uh, 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 <laughs> there he is! Oh, he is. Hey. All right, we'll allow we'll allow it. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. He's the android. <laughs> he knew, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Crime <coughs> movies. movies. Crime movies. Do you want to stick with it or do you want to spin again? I'm going to spin again. Spin oh, again. dang. Where's that spin? Oh, that's spin. 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 Oscar, Oscar movies. movies. Oscar movies. All right, so now All right. Oscar movies for the android here. It's <coughs> a nice round. Okay, four questions in the category of Oscar movies. Don't forget you have multiple choice. Actor Jack Lemmon won his sole Best <coughs> Actor Oscar for which film? Uh, multiple choice. A, The Apartment. B, The China Syndrome. C, Save the Tiger. D, Some Like It Hot. Uh, the Apartment. Incorrect. Oh, Rachel for the steal. Can I hear the options again? Absolutely. It is A, The Apartment. B, The China Syndrome. C, Save the Tiger. D, Some Like It Hot. Save the Tiger? That's correct One for a point. point. Nice. Question two. Whoopi Goldberg won an Academy Award for what film? Ghost. That's correct. Two, nice. points. two points from Mark Andrejko. All right. Uh, we have your third question. Who was the first African American to be nominated for the Best Director Academy Award? John Singleton. That's correct. Two, two points. More points. Really nice. All right. Final question in this round for you, Mark. For what movie did Steven Soderbergh receive his Best Director Oscar? Traffic. That's Two correct. points. Nice. Fighting back the Android here. 14-10. Ooh, 14-10. Android has a nice round here. Just missed the first one, but he was able to get within four as we go into round number three. Works like this.
They are going to be three numbers from one to twenty. Man, I really hope two. Rachel Second takes this. Three, I'll be so freaking excited. Five points. All right, you have fifteen seconds to answer the question. Neither one of the competitors have used the JT oh, the JTE rule really yet. That's correct. All right, so we have Rachel Cushing. Please pick three numbers from one to twenty. Eight, two, nineteen. Eight. Two and 19 for the crusher and Mark Andreco. Four, seven, and 13. Four, seven, and 13 for Mark Andreco. He is down four. He is going to go first to try to avoid the TKO. All so right. Here we go. Mark Andreco is up first to try to avoid the TKO. All right, you're down 10 to 14. You chose the number four for your two point question. That category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. Two point <coughs> question. Name the hotel featured in The Shining. The Overlook. That's correct. Nice. Two points there. All right. You chose your next one is number seven. This would put you in the lead. Three-point question category number seven is 70s, 1970s. In which film will you find Gene Hackman playing Detective Popeye Doyle. The French Connection. For three points. Nice. All right, so now we, we bounce Come back. Come on, to, Rachel. We bounce back to Rachel Cushing, who needs to hit this two-pointer to jump it back to Andreco, forcing him to go to the five. Here you go, Rachel. All right, Rachel, for your two-point, you have famous actors and actresses. In 2015, Donald Gleason played a major role in four films. Name one of them. Ex Machina? That's correct. Yeah? Okay. Nice. Ex Machina, Brooklyn, The Force Awakens, or The Revenant. All right, so now it goes back to Mark and Draco for his five pointer, which Dang. he needs to hit in order to keep himself in the game. All right, Mark, you chose the number 13. That category is Westerns. Westerns. <laughs> category is Westerns. Your five this is a great point face. question. Oh my gosh. Russell Crowe portrays gang leader Ben Wade in the 2007 remake of 310 to Yuma. Who portrayed that same character in the original 1957 film? Oh my gosh. Five. Repeat the question. Russell Crowe portrays gang leader Ben Wade in the 2007 remake of 310 to Yuma. Who portrayed the same character in the original 1957 film? My heart is beating so fast right now. Oh my gosh. Five, four, <coughs> three. Alan Ladd. And you're yes! 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 Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. To the next round, she will play against the winner of Mark Ellis and Stacy Howard. My goodness, what a match here! Lions. <sighs> one person goes Sweet. forward, Jeff Snyder. Now one is out with Mark and Draco. Okay, so here we go. We're going to talk to Emma Fife, who's going to be sitting with both Rachel Cushing and the Android. Here we go. What is up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with, I am delighted to say, the victorious Rachel the Crusher Cushing. This is a woman who is on fire. Rachel, congratulations. Thank you. I will admit it was a win I really felt I needed, and it feels really good to have pulled it out. I mean, because we all know, Rachel, that you are one of the most capable players in this league, and I think that sometimes you just... Hi. Frickin' Jay, Jay Washington. I am so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank we you. talked about this. You said you could do it. And you did. And it's wonderful. And now you get to go on to play the winner of Stacey Howard versus Mark Ellis, who we already know is going to crush baby carrots. Then everybody wins. We all win. It's a beautiful thing. The whole family wins. We have a blast. <laughs> Look. I'm happy for you. We'll celebrate after this. Finish the interview. Have a great time. Enjoy this. We'll talk about everything else later, okay? Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that was all about. Do you care to comment, Rachel? That's just Jay being Jay. Look, I have not said yes to anything. You know, Ken and I are still figuring our stuff out, so... 
Jay's a sweetheart. Yeah. I do love those girls, but yeah, no, I have not made any decisions yet. Yeah, I think yet. Jay's also one to misinterpret conversations in his own favor. But anyway, back to your incredible performance in this match, Rachel. So you spun Sandra Bullock movies in round two, which is not necessarily a strength of yours. It, it could have gone either way. Um, she she has made some not great movies. Yes, I love you, Sandy, but there, there could have been some deep cuts. And um, I was lucky that at least I had seen all of the movies that I've been asked about. I had to go to multiple choice. But once I did, I was confident in my answers. Absolutely. You stayed alive in there. And then Big Steel right off the bat against Mark Andreco. When he spun Oscar, Oscar movies, movies, I was like, and he's going to close the gap. Look, I, yeah. am, I have nothing. Well, I don't have nothing negative to say about Mark Andreco. But he's a solid player and a great competitor. And when he spun that, I was like, you know, this is a match. And it was. It was a great match. Absolutely. Even though he is running around with the Despicable Kittens Club, mm. you can't deny that Mark Andreco is a very strong competitor in this Absolutely. League, which makes it all the more amazing that you beat him it feels good i won't lie it feels good what so you're going to be taking on whoever wins the mark ellis versus stacy howard match yeah who would you like to see next i mean it's hard not to say ellis because he's like the pioneer of the league and and i love how his laid-back attitude sort of belies his trivia knowledge but stacy stacy's a dark horse i mean her opening match against jonathan Voico. She showed up. People don't talk about her enough. Uh, she's a friend, and I think going up against her could be a lot of fun. So That's true. Yeah, I think the next match that you participate in is going to be a win-win situation either way. Either Mark Ellis, possibly. who again is is a, a longtime favorite yeah. in this league, or Stacey Howard, because I like to see women competing in this league and crushing it. You know I do. Rachel the Crusher Cushing, and you know, I mean a win-win not in the same way that Jay Washington does. I don't think anyway. So congratulations again, Rachel. We look forward to seeing you continue to dominate this singles tournament here in the Ultimate Schmodown. We will be right back with the defeated android, Mark Andreco. And we are back with me, Emma Pfeiffer. All right. You're lucky to be here today. You know that, right? Especially my job to be here. Always no help. She's got a man going out to get around stuff for us. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to be in your presence. I can't say that I'm necessarily super thrilled about it either. However, I am super thrilled to say that Mark Andreco, you just didn't quite win this match today. What kind of question was that? Five more questions. Henry Ford? That was a, that was a legitimate five-point question. Also, there have been several Fords who've been quite famous within Western, so it was, it, it was a five-point question, all right? He did not pay for the Oscar, so. I don't even know who cares. That's a terrible thing. Okay. Uh, speaking of Oscars, Mark Andreco, you did spin Oscars in the second round, and unfortunately, Rachel managed to steal one point from you. But but, but well played. You you closed the gap there since she she made a she got a good. You are so condescending. It's really kind of awesome. Hey. I'm just, just saying. Wow. I like, now I feel like I really should go full heel, Luna. I like to see justice prevail, and that is what we saw. Well, the fashion police are going to come for you pretty soon. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, awesome. Great. Taking stabs at my appearance. Well, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Listen, I'm taking stabs at your movie trivia, and last time I checked, this was a movie trivia game. I'll play you anytime, anywhere. Listen, this will be a puddle of nothing. I, hey, I'm not saying that I would do well in movie trivia. We're just saying. Grace hasn't showed up. You were on the nicest. Oh, the good nicest. Wow. Okay, fantastic. Well, anyway, this is a freaking disaster. I'm not sorry for your loss today. I'm very glad to see that Rachel Cushing has to be you because Rachel is a good and honest person who's smart and has her composure. Sounds like a gas leak or something. We don't need her in the same way. I'll interview Mark, what happened out there today? And, you know, then that Oscar question, that was actually, I've heard some rumors that was a really hard question. That's actually what the five-point question should be in every round. They should be consistently that hard to be a five-point question. That was actually a really good question, because at first when you started asking, I thought, oh, three ten to Yuma. And then he kept talking, and I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. So that, that's, that's a good, I'm not ashamed of that. I don't think anybody in the crowd knew that. I think one guy did. One guy did.
No. no. <laughs> um, well, well, so, so, so what's, what's next for you? Where do you go from here? Well, well, you know, you know I, I told Christian, Christian I want to be one of the question answers now that I'm knocked out of both of them. I want to contribute that way. You know, the thing about this league is... You recycle, you recircle, it's just like any sort of professional sports that you get your chances again. And some days you have a good day, and some days you have a bad day. You just have to take them you're going to shake it off of that, I have no doubt. Some people on the line is going to take the championship belt off this wacko. This guy is a, is a lunatic. He's, he's stacking decks now. It, it's evident. It's a deck stacker. It's really evident. And it's becoming a big problem, and it's a nuisance, and I'm going to get rid of the guy. You know what? Uh, well, you know what? Why do we need to get rid of him? Let's just get rid of him ourselves. Let's get out of here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that, Rachel Cushing, very excited. She is 2-0 now, has two big wins against Scarpino and the Android. That was a big win. She's talking about how she wants to, you know, either play Ellis or Stacey Howard. You know, it's very interesting, though, that Jay Washington once again popped his head in there. And it seemed cordial between the two of them. And it almost seemed like he was saying, well, both the people on my team are going to be playing against each other to win-win. But there's been no... There's been no agreement, no right? contracts that It was confusing. Jay Washington in that interview was making it seem like it was official. I, you, you know, know I, I don't know anything. anything. Don't, don't look to me. me. I don't know. I'm just a man in an uh, old suit jacket. All right. As far as Andrew Eagle goes, two and two doesn't send him back too far. I mean, that's a loss to Rachel Cushing, which once again shows she's a powerhouse in this league. There's a lot of people out there that the Android can play, and he is dangerous no matter who you are. I have no doubt that that five more question was tough. It was a deep cut, and that's sometimes what happens, but he hung right there. So the misfires the first round that he might be losing some sleep over, over but hey, you can. You play the game, that's what happens. All right, so there you go. You got Rachel Cushing awaiting the winner of Mark Ellis versus Stacey Howard. Who's she going to play? What do you guys think? Go ahead and comment and tell us exactly what you thought of today's match. Make sure that you comment. Like, a lot of matches still coming down the pike here. We are in the first round of the ultimate showdown. It's the singles. The winner gets to play me at the spectacular for that belt. Ken Napsok, pretty good one. That, that was, was a great, great one. one. All right, go on over to the Movie Trippie Showdown Facebook page. Check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on the SK Plus channel. They break down everything. Aaron, Brian, and Frank really bring it up for you guys. Thank you guys so much. <coughs> Dang. That was really... <clears throat> that was really awesome. I'm so glad that Rachel pulled it out. I was really, really hoping that she would. Um, she was in my bracket. I've only had one match in my bracket that I haven't predicted correctly. Everything else has been perfect, including Rachel, so I'm really excited about that, even though it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> I really do like the Lion's Den being a part of the Schmodown, just because that I personally find them really entertaining. They're just funny because they're so stupidly ridiculous. Um, and at the end of the day, they are good players. They're, they're good at trivia, so that's, you know, bring it... It brings some challenging matches, which is nice to see. Um, but I'm really excited to see Rachel move forward. I'm hoping that <clears throat> she'll get to play Ellis. Because um, I have Ellis <laughs> in my bracket. Um, but, uh, yeah. If you guys are watching, thank you so much. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you had Rachel to win. Or if she busted your bracket. Uh, let me know who you have winning against Howard and Ellis, and I will see you guys next time.